What's going on out there? How are you all doing? It's your boy Crypto Miguel. You're coming today with a hardware update video, guys. Here we have our 6700 Speedster. We got a Swift 309. Of course, we got this lovely thing thanks to Vega from X Special Forces. Thanks again, big boy. We greatly appreciate it. Helped us get this card. So, today we are going to show changing over the drivers because the drivers were a little older um a little older now but also we're gonna try to get on uh we're gonna go look at more the more power tool we couldn't use it originally on the drivers that we have now it would just it would lock it up and it wouldn't work it wouldn't lower the uh the wattage at all so right now we are hashing not like full tilt but I like pretty good wise so we can look at that right here we are sitting here with your screen captured in thanks to the Elgato thank you guys out there that have helped me get this thing so we can look at all this so as you can see it's been up for about a day now uh, we had a rolling brown out the other day so uh, yeah but you can see we're getting about 47 mega hashes uh, there's your 4 megahertz at 2760, memory is at 2138, um, the edge temperature is 62 degrees, the junction temperature 72, it doesn't tell you the temperature, uh, the, I'm assuming the, for the temperature of the memory on here, but you can scroll over here and check it out, junction temperature 66, not bad at all, I mean it's an open air rig. So, but we are pulling right here 162 watts, and that's just like not cool. So, we've been doing it for a little bit, we're okay with it, but I'd rather you know get some more wattage back. So, the way we are going to check this out for the drivers, we are just going to go video cards. Oh God. <clears throat> Easiest place to graph me to grab drivers. Over here, right now, adrenaline 21.7.2. This is the most current that actually just came out the other day, if I'm not mistaken. Go check out the official site. Okay, so we're here on the page and you see we're on drivers. Revision number, this is the newest version. Um, it's optional, it just came out a couple of days ago. Recommended though is 21.6.1. Alright, so that's the one we're gonna we're gonna grab the recommended. Uh, we don't need the brand new because it just came out and I don't want to deal with it. Any buggies or anything like that. So, while we are here, BIOS editor, I just want more power tools. That. Now we're good to go. And here we are with this. So now we have both of these. As you can see, here's the old driver. Um, uh, 21.5.1 so we're just going up a few versions hopefully this will be enough just to like let us use it for at least more power tools without locking without locking our clock so, so we're gonna download this and then we will be right back so now that we have finished updating everything make sure we have GPU Z I have MSI afterburner so that way we can check and we might not be able to adjust the voltage in Radeon software, so we're going to try Afterburner just in case, have it as a backup, um, as well as we're going to download more power tools. Uh, 1.3.5 is the newest update. I will have all the links for this down in the description below, 
and you can get access to all of this stuff. As well as I'm using the newest version of Team Red Miner, uh, version 0.8.4. Alright, so we can just click close here. Now I need to open up GPUZ. So here is that. We're going to go ahead and download our BIOS so that way we have it. We can save it to a file. Alright. We're good there. And now we got it. And now we can go to more power tools. Open that up. That stuff's open. Find our 6700. And we need to load up our BIOS. Open. Alright, so we can go to overdrive limits, power percentage, and change that to 50%. And then I think this. We can leave the same. And then power and controls. Oh, let's just change that one one second. So, what I understand, I'm going to change this to 650. That way we can actually lower our voltages the rest of the way I'm good there overdrive limits power minimum maximum we can change it up to 15 really we don't really need to change that and then I think that's it so we just change the overdrive limits a little bit we lowered our minimums we don't really need to change any of that curve fans it's all fine should be good now we can write it so we successfully added it now we just gotta save it save we successfully saved it now we can click exit and now we gotta reboot all right, so now that it is, now that we got our system back up and running, we'll open up Radeon software. Let's see, we'll go over to manual so we can start looking at everything. Uh, turn our tuning back on, our advanced controls back on. Twenty six fifty. I think is what I'm gonna end up changing this to to see if it works. So 2650 there. We'll go to the VRAM. Memory timing is gonna fast timings. Uh, frequency. Gonna crank it up. Oh, there we go. Turn it up 2150. Voltage 1200. And we're going to come here to fan tuning. Turn that crud off. That on there. Let's drag that all the way out. Alright. There and now we should be able to go to power tuning. And now our bar is a lot bigger than it used to be, like a lot bigger. So now we can click here and let's see if we can get a minus 20. We can go with the minuses, guys. <laughs> so we'll see if she likes it and we will apply that. And let's, let's see if we can. Uh, See if we can hash it. 
One second. All right, so you see we're here in Team Red Miner. Now, if you get an error at the beginning of your Team Red Miner, guys, in Windows, click this registration issues. Just double click it and apply it. That way it won't give you like your GPU, your AMD GPU specifically, uh, doesn't like have a watchdog error in a dead GPU. All right, so if it's an issue. So we're gonna start over here mining. I'm mining, I call it polyeth because I'm mining Ethereum on the Polygon network. So let's start it up. All right guys, so we just turned it on and let's see. Four limits are good. Power, we're pulling 148 watts right now. So we have dropped power. Not a lot, but we have dropped. So that, that's a good thing. Uh, we can, of course, probably drop the water to a lot lower than we have. Uh, of course. But we are pulling less wattage. So that's a good thing. But right now it's in its auto configure tuning, so we'll check back after the configuration. Right, so it's been running there for a minute and it's up to date. So we're going back at 47 mega ashes, which is where we were before, which is ultimate goal for that anyway. So we're sitting around 148, 143 to 148 watts currently. So um, we're gonna close it out and then we're gonna try so we don't crash drivers because I really don't want to crash drivers. Let's see if we can take it down a little bit. negative 30 it has been a minute I'm doing all right or we did drop we dropped about looks like 12 to 13 watts right there um, from this current from the beginning we we're at negative 30 so our hash rate changed just a little bit not too much so we might be able to go lower on the power or we might be able to start taking away from the actual core now that our voltages are down and our memory is up, we could start playing around with uh, everything else to fine tune the card completely. But right now, that's perfectly fine with me. This video is mainly just showing you uh, how to set up more power tool and use it using your 6700 XT cards or same voltages wouldn't apply the same, but this is for the XFX Swift 309 GPU over here. We can pull it up right here. This is the one that we currently have and are testing in the bench right now and has finally lowered some, been able to lower it and perform the same hash for less wattages. So freaking fantastic guys make sure you smash like button hit the subscribe button that bell notification soon time that we go live here on the channel we greatly appreciate it see you here live every saturday morning for good morning miners catch you next time guys patreon link down below if you want to tip me if you want to tip that'd be greatly appreciated as well get them watch hours up until we get monetized here real soon guys so catch you later be safe happy mining Love you all.